Gentlemen, you might be thinking I do have some serious problem with C. No, I don't have. I just see the things in reality. So, I would like to discuss here the five reasons not to learn C programming as a beginner. And uh, this is very debatable. Some of you might take a side of the C language and say, "Hey, this is a great programming language. You should start learning from it." And blah 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 about that. But today in this controversy, I'm going to take against the c and i'm going to stand against it so let's get started with the c and before we even get started with the five reasons i would like to say that i studied c as the as my first programming language and if you'll do masters or your doctorate you might already be familiar with the concept of designing your modern compilers and c is inevitable for that so i studied c a lot i have designed compilers in it and even some server side codes i have that i have written in the c so i do know the c quite well and i have taught the c for let's say uh, over 10000 or 20000 students out there i do like the language but not in this era So let's get started with the five reason you should not get started with the C. So the reason number one, my first problem with the C is the memory allocation, and I'm not talking about the people who have just written a hundred line of code or just have taught C for their whole life. I'm talking about writing thousands and thousands of lines of codes in the C. You know what I'm talking about. Don't just avoid it. You know what I'm talking about. The memory allocation. sometimes you just allocate too little sometimes you just allocate too much and waste the memory and all the time you are just worried about the memory memory and the memory there are various toolkits or frameworks that are written totally dedicated that are all the time just worried about how much memory you have got and how much memory you have freed upon and uh, sometimes you just free the memory twice and even if you have a memory uh, freed up sometimes you are always worried whether i should initialize it whether i set it up to the zero or maybe i should free it up or when should i free it up so memory allocation is really sucking in the c i have many other problems to get worried about sometimes my logic even sucks so i have to i have different problems to get worried about and memory allocation is not the thing that i always want to look around it and if you have designed any debugger or maybe uh simply a unit testing program or something like that you know what i'm talking about memory allocation really sucks and even i would recommend that the guy who have actually designed the automatic memory allocations and deallocations just give him a prize he deserved that the biggest problem in the c is the memory allocation The problem number 2 that I have with the C programming is multi-threading. Now we you won't get me much if you haven't heard about the terms like deadlock or something like that. And if you'll study a little bit deep about the C, maybe in the masters or maybe a higher education than that, then you will realize that multi-threading is not at all something that is meant for the C. Yes, it was those good old days when there was no parallel programming or parallel machines in which you have to run a lot of code. And if you've written those codes in the C, your life is just like a hell. Believe me, it is really a dead deadlock hell. Okay, so multi-threading is something that you should never ever try in the C because there will be conflicts. You cannot avoid them. and it doesn't really separate all the threads so concurrency will occur deadlocks will occur and you cannot avoid them maybe you might be thinking i am talking too much technical stuff out there but yes this is a problem multi threading is not at all a piece of cake for the c programming i don't even recommend the higher some of the higher languages like java is also not at all good in doing parallel programming uh, stuff like that i have tried it on my machine it doesn't really work unless you are using the latest java x dot concurrent and stuff like that but again let's not get too much of the technical stuff out there i don't want to brag about it but yes multi threading do sucks in the c problem number 3 that i have with the c is the pointers and you know what i'm talking about if they were so good why didn't all the other programming language like java python didn't adopted it because they were evil there is no good way of saying about it and i don't like them honestly they create so much of the chaos that you cannot avoid it sometimes you are worried about uh, what kind of value you are going to get and is it going to be referenced outside the memory allocations and things like that so i don't want to brag a lot about the pointers but yes they are evil they are the some people say they are very good very uh, marvelously but no i don't consider them 
just try to write a debugger and that uses a lot of the pointers or even write a compiler that uses a lot of uh, simply saying pointers you will uh, really get frustrated with that I did that I tried a lot of pointers statically arranging them the things and sometimes I do return uh, random values yes there are programmers which are pretty good pretty handsome in the programming with the pointers but yes I do have a lot of other things to get worried about I do have a lot of choice in the present scenario and that is the reason why I don't like pointers reason number four that I have a little bit of the problem with the C is premature optimization yes I don't like it much the C programming is a great language don't get me wrong here but sometimes there are some premature optimization in the language especially in the case of the loops now you might have already heard about that sometimes referencing to the pointers or referencing to the array we try to get the value as quick as possible and who haven't tried to run the loop fast in the C you might have tried it uh, the upside loop or the downside loop just in the way just to, in the sake of uh, writing it faster or just running it faster we all have tried it don't get me wrong but yes I do know that the algorithms are actually the key to write the faster loops there is a memory there's a data structure that I need to follow up some loops are faster some mechanism are faster some are not but again uh, talking in general if you make uh, any benchmark press out there uh, I feel sometimes that the C is a little bit premature optimized language and sometimes especially in the case of loopings it does fall a little bit back and the loops are not that much fast as in the other language but yes again I completely agree with you that this is totally dependent on the algorithm and what kind of machines you are working on but yes a uh, little bit things could have been optimized in the C if you talk about the optimization of the language now the reason number five that I don't like the C is the unit testing okay let's just start it with from you name the favorite uh, unit test uh, framework or editor or tool that you have used to debug your C programs or just to do a unit test in the C program okay I know there isn't even any out there that is my problem with the C now unit test I do agree that unit test was not at all a concept which was there in the early 70s but nowadays it is an essential requirement if you want to design any anything out there unit testing is something that everyone should understand everyone should learn without that there is nothing gonna be uh, uh, good for you so if you want a good life just go ahead and learn some of the unit testing which are damn easy in languages like Swift or maybe Python and there are tons of other languages which deals up with the unit testing quite easily there are tons of frameworks and tools which can uh, talk about and do a lot of stuff about the unit testing but in the C it's a complete headache even if you got through it I didn't got to there and I left the language out there okay so these are my five top five reasons why I don't like the C and I don't recommend uh, the beginners to at least get started with the language in the early days we didn't have the much option to learn other languages but in the present scenario we have tons of options tons of good and great programming language out there so you can get started without with there I did start it with the C because it was there in my curriculum and I enjoyed it a lot but I could have done a lot better if I would have some other knowledge of the other programming language okay some of you might be talking about the stuff that uh, universities do recommend to learn C as their uh, first programming language don't get me wrong but when did those university actually updated their syllabus or the curriculum probably five years ago or probably ten years ago so judge it by yourself that you should go with them or not tons of universities are moving towards the modern languages and that is actually a very great move according to me but again it's totally on you decide yourself whether you should follow those universities who have updated their curriculum maybe 10 years ago or maybe 15 years ago even at that time the programming languages like Swift or maybe C sharp or maybe the Python were not even born so decide yourself where you want to go so these are my fi top five reasons why you should not get started with uh, the C but feel free to just comment down below I would like to really have a debate on this and maybe in future I can uh, dedicate a video for five reasons you should learn C but that's gonna be dependent on you don't forget to subscribe my channel let's get going with the technical talks